All right, we've got the Jazz Wears Wicked Cool Toys Master Chief from Halo Infinite, and he looks awesome, especially compared to some of the figures we've had in our history with Halo toys. Now, this isn't the normal kind of video that I do, and I'm not going to review him completely, although I think he's pretty cool because there's enough reviews out there. What I'm going to do, because uh, I feel like I have enough figures to do this, is compare him. If you're a Halo collector or just general action figure collector, you want to know how does he scale with some of the guys you already have because there are a few that actually do fit. And I have the 3.75 Halo Infinite Chief over here too, and he actually goes with a few of them. So let's look at them together and see how they work. Now let's get these guys out of here real quick. And we will compare them one by one and go through all of them. First one to put out is the other Wicked Cool Toys. Um, you know, Jazzwares is making the Fortnite figures and they have what they call core figures. These are Halo scale figures. They're very comparable, actually. I have a um, Fortnite figure here and size-wise, I think they scale perfectly fine together. So if you want to put mix and match, that's fine. But starting off with the two Master Chiefs that Wicked Cool Toys is doing, Jazzwares. I'm not going to say them both every time. They're the same company now. So comparison-wise, what we're looking at is definitely a true 1 12th scale Chief. This is a 6-inch ruler, so he's going to be way over that. I don't have a better one for that. But... This guy, you know, he's supposed to stand at 3.75 is the scale. He's maybe four and three quarters, probably an inch taller than the rest of those guys that are going to fit in that scale. And I think that's most comparable to the Halo 3 uh, McFarlane Master Chief, who is just a little bit taller than the new 118th scale. He stands at just about five and maybe a quarter, maybe a little bit less than that. And that actually goes decently well with normal um, 118th scale figures. I do have other ones, little cheap army guys. They are maybe a little shorter than they should be in comparison to Chief. But I don't think it's too crazy. You know, if you got them in a pose or doing anything, if Chief's, Chief's knees are bent, I think you're fine. So I think they nailed the scale there. Especially when you consider on the tall end here, the big chief, I think goes really well with other 12th scale. And Marvel Legends is the size or the scale I would say most people look at most common for 12th scale. And they're a little bit taller than normal. Um, we're looking at a kid size here. These are two MCU figures. Um, Peter Parker obviously should be about 5'8 or so, while Thor is 6'5" plus. So I think they scale really well together here. Chief being a little bit taller in his armor than Thor. I haven't, I see no reason why you cannot mix this Master Chief in with your other 112 scale figures. Now you may notice I'm not saying, you know, six inch scale because that's what the Mattel figures were and they were just uh, too small, to be honest with you. They, that isn't what you're looking for. They made a, that's a Jerome right there. Halo Wars, if you've played. This is Halo 4, maybe Halo 5. No, it's Halo 5, yeah. Master Chief from Mattel, by, based on the time when they came out. Um, and I can fit one more here. We got Buck as a Spartan. And he's shorter than all the rest, but his knees are a little bent there. I'm not going to readjust him. I think he looks fine next to Buck. In my head, I'm thinking Buck's shorter, even as a Spartan. But as you can see, these Spartans are overall too small. If you're going to just put them next to, like I said, a, a, a kid there, and Peter's got his legs a little bent, but I would think he should be, Jerome should be much taller than Peter Parker is. But what about the other Jazz Warriors figures, right? We, I do have a white Spartan here. Looks a lot like Noble Six, which I imagine we will be getting very soon. And Chief is just a little bit taller. And I like that. I like that scaling. I think that works a whole bunch. If Chief ends up being the tallest one or the Spartan Twos are just 
ends up being taller than any of the other uh, figures we end up getting. This is a Mattel um, Arbiter uh, from Halo 5 and actually is okay. Now, here's the thing. Halo 4 and 5, 3, 4, 3 made their elites look huge and hawkish and, and brutish. But if you go by Halo 2 and 3 standards, he wasn't that much bigger than Master Chief. So I think this works out a lot. You could use this and you're not going to find him. So if you have him, that's excellent. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get 112 scale enemies. As of now, it looks like the next wave is, is Spartans again. So we may not get that. So how are we going to fill in our enemies and our bad guys, our cubbies for Master Chief? Well, I think Joyride isn't far off from the scale we're looking for. Yeah, you look at that grunt right there and you say, yeah, that's about right. He's a little bit thick, but I think overall for size wise, we're okay with that. We're okay with this size here. And if you just generally look at the at the um, the Joyride Halo figures, they were about seven inches tall. And I've got that Spartan here to show you the comparison. And here is the Joyride original. I don't have a Halo 2 Joyride figure. I, I think those are actually even a little bit taller if I remember correctly. I lost one, but one that I did have growing up. But I still have this guy and a few other from the original uh, series run. And he's a little bit taller than the Jazzwares Chief, which I think, fine, okay. That means their enemies must scale in decently well. Well, the Grunt definitely does. But we've got some other guys here that I'm not so sure they do. Maybe I'm misremembering the timeline here or when they were supposed to come out, but here's their elite. <laughs> now I don't, am I like, am I way off on this? This guy comes like in a different, bigger wave or something? Should he be that much bigger than Chief? I don't think so. So I don't think this guy works, even though he's still pretty cool, man. Look at that green translucent around his eyes. Still works. There's some other guys that do work though. Moving them down just a hair here. Here is the Prophet of Regret, I believe, the hologram. I might be wrong on that name now that I think about it, but um, yeah, the hologram works pretty good. Joyride made flood figures. Well, they are much harder to find, and this guy won't stand straight up. Let me see if I can get him to just hold his pose there. Maybe a finger on him right there. Looks good, right? Carrier form, that works for me. And here are the Joyride Brutes. We got Tartarus and a concept art brute, I guess, if you remember what I'm talking about from back in the day. Um, yeah, they, I think they look great. I think they scale really well with this Chief, and these guys actually hold up really well in terms of detail. I love this one right here. I think he's, look at the, the skin and the wrinkles and the gun. You know, I just think they nailed that one, and it's still really scales well and holds up going forward. I'm gonna, gonna quickly pop in and out some other figures here. We've got um, Gil we've got Guilty Spark and we've got a Sentinel. So, um, I mean, scale-wise, I don't know. I feel like both would be a little bit bigger. These are from Halo 3, so they should be a little small. Again, we're gonna go a little bit smaller scale here because we've got some McFarlane Halo 3. Sergeant Johnson. Oh, we need a Sergeant Johnson. He is too small. Oh, and dead still. But Sergeant Johnson is the man. How about Arbiter from Halo 3? Nice shiny Arbiter. He's too small. How about the McFarlane Jerome? Again, these guys are too small. But let me bring in the 3.75 scale, Halo scale. Maybe, right? I mean... That could work. Arbiter just being a little bit taller than, than Chief here. You know, maybe back-to-back -back pose, how they were getting down. Yeah, maybe that could work. Bringing Johnson back out here really quick, and maybe. You know, if you are taking pictures, if you're filming, if you are one of those guys, I, I think you could get Chief in the forefront. And that could work with Johnson. We've got a couple of Brutes next from different lines. I want to say it's a Halo Reach Brute all the way on the right, made by McFarlane. And in the middle is Atriox from Halo Wars 2, made by Mattel. 
which is actually a really good figure. I need to give them a wash. But again, they don't fit. They are too small. A few more here. We got a Halo 4 Grunt, which maybe he's on the small side, but the Halo 4 figures did get bigger. Oh, we've got a Halo 5 Lock. McFarlane again. He's too small. And we have Sergeant Forge there on the right side. Too small again. Adding to the Halo 4 is an Elite. And again, he is just too small to go with it. Um, you know, maybe with the maybe with the other Spartan. Again, I think he's too small again. So those guys are out of the loop. A couple more McFarland. We've got a general elite there. I don't mean he's a general like a rank. I just mean he's a average elite. Um, then you have Tartarus, which is still a really cool figure, but they don't fit, so the profits have lied. How about some jackals? Not really. Now, they're supposed to be about six foot and some change. I think maybe the Reach one, the Skirmisher, kind of goes. The Halo 4 and previous, I don't really think. Even though they're both Reach, the ones on the left side there. Um... The skirmisher is the biggest of them, and maybe he fits. Maybe. A couple of more grunts, different sizes, different ranks. Not really working. Uh, anyone a fan of the crawler there on the left? Nope, didn't think so. Very quickly here, I don't remember if this is Halo 4 or Reach. Oh my god, the legs are so jello. But that's why I'm going to hold him. His legs are done, so doesn't fit anyways. How about some of the Reach Marines? Do they fit? Do they work? They're the tallest of them. Um, no, I think they're a little small. And do they scale at all with the 118th Chief? They're too big. But I do have two of the new Marines from Jazzwares, so they look great with that chief. I, I think they did a good job at the pilot too. Also, I have the jackal and the grunt. So let's look at those. And there is the pilot, which I don't think we have a name left. This is like the generic 118th scale guy there at the end, if you can tell. This is the. Let me get him on the other side. And then better in the camera. That's the jazz wears. Fortnite figure. Let me get Chief out of here for a second so we can actually see what they look like. So as you can see, that works. Uh, the smallest of the two Halo 2, 3 Spartans, like I said, he kind of goes. You could kind of fit that in there, I think. I wouldn't be surprised if they eventually remake that suit. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there was two... Whoop, dropped the pistol there. There were two different... McFarlane um, Chief figures from Halo 2, Halo 3. So if you got the small one, that's the one I'm talking about. There's a small one that you can use. And here's the two from Jazzwares that are in the Halo scale, the three and three quarters scale. As you can see, I'm holding the Jackal. If anyone's ever owned a Jackal from any of the toy line figures, you know they don't stand. But <laughs> I already broke off the arm of the grunt also. Not a bad one, though. It's a clean break. I can fix that pretty easily. But still, if you want to see the scale there on those guys, it works. And, you know, just general McFarlane guys, if you want to add these grunts and jackals to them, I think they fit. I think you can mix and match the, some of these grunts with that grunt, too. And there, real quick, is that grunt now. There was a build a figure grunt. I never got the head. I put a Halo 4 head on him. Uh, kind of works. As if you can see there, I started painting one side to kind of blackwash it. But he works. He's big, but maybe he should be. What about the Tartarus and the Elite? Tartarus seems big. I could bend his knees a little bit, but he seems big. The Elite doesn't. You know, they have bent knees. I think... You want to put those him with him? Go right ahead. I think that works. So those are my comparisons with general action figures. Um, you know, obviously every line of Halo figures. Oh, there, well, there was one more I wanted to do, actually. Just for fun, more than anything. Because I think this Infinite suit is 
very closely modeled after the package or the Halo Legends run. If you don't have this guy, I know not a lot of people do, you'll see a lot of similarities. So maybe, yeah, there's a lot there. Anyways, I'm going to compare some of the guns next to some of the weapons because I think that is interesting at the very least and will fit and you're going to want to back, go back and get dig those out of your closet because I want a rocket launcher to go with this chief. You feel me? This is a joyride. Look at it. Oh, it looks good. It fits. Again, leading or lending credence to the idea that the joyride is the best scale to go with this guy.